but overseas, guys, and you didn't call it the same name as you had out here, of course, the Skins and Hearts, but the church. Now, how's it done in America, Canada, and places like that that it's gone out in? Uh, so far, it's done quite well. It's, um, it's uh, chartered in Canada, and uh, it's getting airplay over there. Uh -huh. Now, the Canadian thing we've heard heaps about is apparently selling like crazy over there. It's sold uh, 14,000 copies in Canada uh -huh. already. So. And what about the single, Marty? There's um, one taken off that, isn't there? I don't know about the single. Apparently, it's doing too. Is it really? Quite well tell me about it. Well, it's well, well, <laughs> going up. I'll get Chucky or someone to tell you later. Now, English rock writers, and this is what we wanted to get to, because there was a, a thing in the paper through the week. Davy Dawson had a bit of a whack, but then he turned around and said he liked your music, so I guess it was, it was nice. But he reported that in an English mag, they'd had a go at the album and, and, and slandered it a bit. What did you, how did that affect you? Did you get upset over that? Well, you know, it's, it's the usual case for um, English press <clears throat> yeah. uh, to slag off Australian bands. But, I, you know, like, you know, that, that's the usual case, where, whether, you know, the, the music's good or not. But, um, you know, it hasn't affected us. It doesn't anyway. bother you? No, well, now, you, know, will you, you can only take the press so seriously. Yeah. And when you head off overseas, which you've got to do shortly, when, for a start? Oh, it could be, you know, maybe the end of the year if it goes well. Yeah. You will hang out that long, well, even with this success no, with, in Canada? Well, it's, it's not worth going unless it's really worth it, you know? I yeah. Mean, it's well, looking at, good. At this time, it looks great, yeah. so I thought you'd obviously go to Canada first, but will you go to England and do you, are you looking forward to working yeah. there? Well, you know, if the demand's there and um, the opportunities come up, then we'll go. But, you know, if not, then there's no point. You know? It'd be good to bash those Australia's blokes. Australia's good enough for us. It'd be good to bash those blokes' heads, and no, I mean, sound-wise, that have yeah. had a go at you, you yeah. know what I mean? Well, 18 months ago... The time was will come. Yep, yeah, right. 18 months ago, it was reported that you may even give up doing live performances, and you may even throw the whole thing in. Now, 18 months later, two successful albums, doing unbelievable things in Australia. What right. sort of changed you, your idea 18 months ago? Like you're at that stage where, hey, we're going to give it away. What made you keep going? Well, we we started to, to get popular. <laughs> Unguarded Moment was a hit, and that sort of, like, turned the tables for us. It made it sort of... So it was that... Just, yeah, it was, it was yeah. Unguarded Moment being a hit single, which mm. sort of, you know, made it bearable because it was getting pretty tough in the early days when people weren't getting into the group you know yeah and they're certainly doing that now oh, they are, people yeah. are getting pulled off stage and the whole thing aren't they well you know sometimes yeah, sometimes so. yeah at, at the under 18 gigs you do quite a few of those too don't you well we haven't done that many yet we've done a few we've done you know about one in each capital city right and there, there are more to come. Yeah, we're going to do a few this, more this next this tour. This tour, we're going to do a few. Great. When does that start? Uh, that starts on March the 8th in Brisbane, then um, Sydney, then Melbourne, and then Good we're summer. going to go to Adelaide and Perth too, uh -huh. and then over to New Zealand also, which we would have never done before. Right. That'll be a good one for yeah, you. Yeah, So that's good. your first overseas go? Well, yeah, NZ. before New Zealand. Yeah. Okay, now Steve Kilby is not here today. <clears throat> he was quoted as saying he's the best songwriter in the world in an article I read. Uh, do you feel that is that a correct quote? And do you feel that he was right in saying that? What, what, do I think Steve's a good songwriter? No, he said he's the best in the world. Um, I think he's an excellent songwriter. He's a lot. Well, there's, you know, who is the best in the world? Right. Um, now he also said that he would never sing a song written by somebody else. Is that a correct statement? What do you mean? Um, I think he said in the band, not I mean, not like if one of the guys in the band wrote a song. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's... That's, that's fine, that's very nice. Why is he not here today? There's no animation in there. Um, he's, oh, no. uh, he's gone to see his mum. Animation, yeah, that's the wrong word. He's gone to see it? his mum in Canberra. Uh-huh, so he's just that's gone out and he couldn't make it. OK. He's down also to do a film shortly, a short film. Yeah, well, we, we were down in Melbourne doing a film for, um, um, for, for off a new film clip for the new single and a track off, off the new album, which is going to be like support to to films at, like, the Hoyts places. Right. It's like a 12 and a half minute film. So as well as live, you'll be going around that way. Mm. And we must mention, and we'll have to do it real quick, I love the cover of this. Who thought that up? Oh, that was um, an artist Crusade. called Paul Paddy. He's done a bit of artwork for us in the past, like on the double single. Yeah, to fabulous. And he's a great artist. Well. Yeah. Listen, Marty and Richard, we're sort of the, the old time situation. Thank you for coming in. Good luck Thanks. with the church. And good luck when you do go overseas. And give those English people heaps. They're yeah, the right, all right? Too fast for you. This is the church.